Hi, my name is Rick Kubiak. I work in the material department as a team leader for the floor team. My name is Jim Rollison. I'm a UAW health and safety trainer. Hi, my name is Tim Simons and I'm the West Material Planner and the lead for the Pedestrian Industrial Vehicle Committee in the West Plant. Recently, we've had several incidents involving mobile equipment and pedestrians. And as a committee, we decided that it would be helpful to make a small video that would raise awareness and focus in this area. So if you would, take a few minutes to watch the following safety communication. Thank you. In this case, the driver should have come to a complete stop before entering the intersection. Not doing so presents a hazard for approaching pedestrians. In this case, the pedestrian should have observed the posted signs indicating no pedestrian traffic. and not doing so, he put himself in harm's way. In this case, the pedestrian has allowed his attention to be focused on something other than the mobile equipment activity around him. Texting, talking on the phone, or reading while walking is a serious hazard in our environment. When a pedestrian enters the swing radius of a piece of mobile equipment, the operator of the mobile equipment will set the parking brake and turn the ignition off. Pedestrians are required to alert mobile equipment operators of their presence prior to entering the swing radius of the mobile equipment. Please always use wait for the wave and the two foot rule when pedestrian mobile equipment interaction occurs. In this case, the pedestrian has walked out into the aisle without checking for oncoming traffic. Let's remember that in the plan, we've got to be mindful of the activities going on around us. Mobile equipment poses a serious risk when we don't pay attention to signage, pedestrian walkways, and the indicators put in place for our safety. Likewise, drivers must be remember critical aspects of their mobile equipment training. You know, most incidents aren't the result of one cause. More times than not, accidents are the result of a combination of factors. For example, we recently had an employee who tripped and fell over the tongue of a dolly in the dolly staging area. Had the employee not strayed from the designated pedestrian path, the incident would not have occurred. However, through the course of the investigation, it was apparent that we needed more signage and the area needed painted to prevent pedestrians from entering this area. A final example of an incident that resulted from a combination of factors. Recently in the West Plant, an employee was involved in a serious mobile equipment pedestrian incident in which his left foot was run over by a fork truck. Had the employee maintained a two-foot roll, the incident may not have occurred. At the same time, had the driver turned off the vehicle and engaged the emergency brake, the incident would have been avoided. Drivers should always be on the lookout for pedestrians. Also, it's critical that drivers maintain an awareness of their surroundings, keeping a safe distance from dollies, racks, and other objects. When these items are struck by mobile equipment, they're not only damaged, but they pose a serious risk to pedestrians in the general area. Everyone would like to leave work without having been involved in a mobile equipment accident, both drivers and pedestrians. By keeping in mind some of the things we discussed here today, and by simply paying attention to our surroundings, we'll be taking an active role in our safety as well as the safety of our coworkers. Thanks for listening, and have a safe day.